so you may not know that yet, but it is one of these huge changes we'll hardly notice until distributions switch their default applications. Or till we finally get in GNOME OS, and say to every insecure distro thank you but now you can go to hell. But how do we know when something like that changes, when the official GNOME never makes an announcement? Simply by checking on meta builds, that it's pretty much the GNOME OS, or more correctly what GNOME developers are visioning for an operating system sponsored by the community. Anywho, inside this repository if we look into the elements and core modules, somewhere here we'll see console, but we'll never see the GNOME terminal. And if we scroll a little bit lower, we'll find the description file with all official GNOME utilities. That so much conveniently the last commit was exactly the switch from terminal to console. Swap terminal out in favor of console. And so, console comes in, terminal goes out. And there is one more crucial change, that console was also moved from purism repositories to official GNOME links. Because in case you don't know it, console was originally the terminal app of Librem 5. And by the way, and it hasn't happened yet, but we may also see soon the FOSH shell becoming the official GNOME shell for phones. In the meantime, let's have a quick look to console maybe? And the first thing you should know, and I'm saying that specially for Plasma users, is that console is written with a C, and not with a K. But the second thing, that we unfortunately and immediately learn from this header bar, is that this app is imported to GTK4. Reason? The VTE bindings are not complete, even if the initial work has started several months back. So I'm not really interested to show you a non-GTK4 app, but regardless the GTK3 part, this ain't really a good app. Look, I'm not on the side of those saying that GNOME strips down features by design. It's more like GNOME tries to deliver the best user experience on features that can actually support. But either case, this is one embarrassing terminal emulator, especially for a desktop, and even more especially for a Linux desktop. And please, don't tell me to use another terminal app, because with the same logic you can say to use another Linux desktop or even another OS. And please again, don't tell me about the people who aren't that much into computing, because those people don't matter. You won't get any benefits from this user group, when at the same time you're risking to lose the kids that are now like 12, and they are about to change the world with a code editor and a terminal. It's like making a dog food, and you're caring about the stupid cats? Point is this terminal can do absolutely nothing, other than changing the color scheme? There are not profiles, there are not themes, there are not split views, and the VTE itself isn't good either. But it's a nice thing when it gets read when we run something with super user privileges. Oh, and another good thing is when we have tabs, and at least we have tabs, is that if we scale the app. We get this vertical tab implementation which is very nicely made. So that was everything about the move from terminal to console, but there is one last matter. Why? I'd say there are some complications with Terminal Maintainer, not being that excited to follow GNOME's latest design language, and at the same time there are people more committed to the cause and with more time. And we're now done. Goodbye from the deep space.